What's up everyone, it's Winstoney coming back to you guys with a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified of every new video I post. Today I'm doing a curly hair tutorial using my denim brush. I don't typically use my denim brush to make my hair curly, I mainly use it to detangle my hair, but someone in the comments wanted to see it done on texturized hair so I decided to give it a try. As you can see, I have the denim brush where the row of bristles are free flowing is what I like to call it. And I actually like it better this way because it doesn't pull at my hair if there's a spot that's a little more difficult to detangle than just combing it. I'll just go to where the bristles stop and work on that area. And also it makes detangling a lot faster. I detangle my hair in half the time with this brush than I did when I used a regular denim brush. But today isn't about detangling, it's about curling. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the curling routine. The first thing I'm gonna do is shampoo and condition my hair with Aunt Jackie's Power Wash Intense Moisture Clarifying Shampoo and Aunt Jackie's Rescued Thirst Quenching Recovery Conditioner. After I wash my hair, I'm going to apply my Hair Awakening Growth Oil to my scalp and massage it in to moisturize it. Then I'm going to use Talia Wahid's Shea Coco Leave-In Conditioner Spray to moisturize my hair strands. Next, I'm going to section my hair so that I only work on one section at a time. To define my curls, I'm going to use Marais Beeswax Honey Whip Curl Enhancer. I use this occasionally when I want more defined curls. I really like it because it doesn't give my hair that stiff feeling that some other curl enhancers do, especially when I dilute it with water, and also it doesn't leave flakes like some other curl creams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the cream to sections of my hair and then use the denim brush to brush through it. And of course you want to make sure your hair is completely detangled before starting to curl it. So for the curling part, I'm going to apply this bracket that came with the brush to the back of the bristles so that they won't move. This will help the curls to come out more consistent with each other. And with the technique I'm going to use to curl my hair, it's better for the bristles not to move. I watched other videos of people using their denim brush to curl their hair and I seen this technique where they put the brush on their hair and flip their hair onto the bristles of the brush like you see I'm doing here and then brush down from there. This is supposed to make the curls come out curlier so I'm going to be using this technique. If you have shorter hair I suggest you brush in a down outwards curve pattern. As you can see after I brush the section I shake the hair to activate the curls. This is another technique I saw. And then I just repeat this process for each section. So this is the finished results after my hair was brushed and dry. I had to redo a couple of sections in the front in a real mirror because trying to section and curl my hair in a camera viewfinder had my hair coming out crazy, so I had to fix it. I don't usually like my curls this defined, but I think they came out pretty nice. Definitely a different type of curl on texturized hair. If you guys like how my hair came out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All the products I used in the video will be linked in the description. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week in a new video.